Hi guys, it's Dawn from Let's Make a Mess Today. How are you doing? Well, tonight I have the window open, so it's gonna be a little noisy, but I'm going to be working with some paint thinner. So I wanted to make sure that I had ventilation in here because I've never worked with paint thinner before, but and I'm a little nervous about it. I'm even actually nervous about storing it in my garage, to be quite honest with you, but it is what it is. But today I want to work with these Shiva pens or sticks that I got at um let me put this down a little bit at Mecca. So that's what we're going to be doing today because I watched a video on how to actually um, make these work. So Racy's not going to want to be on here so for very long because I'm just going to make her go down and say hi and goodbye everybody. Hi and goodbye. She kind of took off. So I want to just play with these sticks. I guess you could tell the other day when I was showing you them in my uh, haul how um, excited I was to use them. Also, you see this blue paint right here? Um, I was playing with them and I got some of this blue paint off and I must have gotten some of it on the floor because some of it got on the bottom of my foot because there is now some in the bottom of my tub. And I haven't tried to scrub it off yet, but I mean, I have to do that. But um, yeah, be careful with this. It's These are super messy and not in a good way, right? So the first thing I think I want to do is gesso this because um, you know, oh, oh, oh my god, hello, there was water in there. <laughs> I, there. This was in water. How long has this been sitting in that dirty water? I don't know. Oh my gosh, that was hilarious. I thought it was a clean brush. Here, I pulled out. Okay, this I have. Oh my god, really? There's water? Oh my gosh, I've been putting stuff in this. Oh my gosh, I'm so bad. All right, well, that's gotta get fixed. Here, let's find another brush. Sorry about that, guys. Hold on. Learning for the seat of my pants tonight, guys. Here's another brush, and it's clean. Oh my word, that was funny. Uh, not funny, ha ha. Yeah, funny, ha ha. Okay. Are we organized now, Don? Do you think you can do this? Yes. We're just gonna pour some gesso on here, and um, then we're gonna play it if I can get this open. So I'm just gonna kind of. I'm just gonna put it on. I mean, I could scrape it on with a, with a um, credit card too. I mean, that's how you can just say you don't have to be perfect about it, right? I think most artists actually do do that. They just scrape it on with a credit card. And I'm just gonna play it, play it, play it by ear. Just I'm not gonna do the sides. This is probably if. I'm, gonna, I'm thinking this might be a background for a girl, a mixed media girl, with the, with the oils, you know, as the background, and the acrylic on top. But hey, that's what mixed media is all about, right? I don't know. Just saying. So, um, but I do want to, I do know that with oils, they usually do prep the surface, right? I never use gesso to prep a surface, the surface. You guys know that about me, right? Like, never. So, <laughs> oh well. All right, so let's just put a nice, um, nice, even coat, and I'll blow dry it. I think it dries pretty fast. Get it on the sides a little bit, just because, just because. I think gesso dries pretty quick, from what I remember. But I'll go ahead and hit this with my, with my blow dryer. So the jar that should have um, water in it does not have water in it. Mm -hmm. Just FYI, and by the way. So I'm going to close this, go put some water in there because I might need it, and blow, blow dry this. And I'll be, or yes, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back, and it's just about dry, and not on the sides, obviously, but I don't care about the sides. You're not worried about the sides. We're painting on this surface. So yeah, that makes it feel a little less gritty maybe um so so far just gesso dried and now let's just talk a little bit about these um um these paints these are shiva sticks maybe shiva i don't know how to pronounce it but it says on them to remove well, i read it wrong it says remove film from the top of the stick before using i mean it's like it tells you what to do and i totally didn't understand what it meant by film but on a video online, am I down low enough? I think I am, right? On a video online, 
Yeah, I think I was fine. Sorry. Um, I saw the girl, and what she did was she took they she took off a little pinch of it like this, because what these do is they. Um, Gracie's eating a napkin over there. Hold on, a car, guys. No, no. Oh, actually, no. It's no, 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 no. Gracie, what is with you on plastic? No, 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 no. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so you remove this film off of the off of the off of the stick. And I don't know if these are supposed to push up, like push up sticks, or if you're supposed to, you know, whatever. So we're going to wait, wait on that for a second. I'm just going to use the ones, or do the ones that are kind of already sticking up a little bit. So, you know, use a um, paper towel or your, I saw one person even use a, 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 like, see that? It just like a little, like a little, like a little sticky, like a little film. One person actually used a, um, a, um, a razor, you know, I thought, well, okay, well, you know, that'll work. But once you do this underneath of it, I'm getting it all over me. Once you do this underneath of it, it's nice and creamy. And I want to get a couple of them open. So with the ones that we have open, we'll put over here. Um, did I try this one? I don't remember. Yeah, now see how that, it doesn't peel off real simp, I mean, um, beautifully. But see, but I guess it's supposed to do that. So that it, um, you know, it protects it. It's a protective coating, which is great. So, yeah, every time you, every time you use them and put them away, then this happens. So, there's another one. Good enough. And what is this one? This one is a um, iridescent brown. That's could be something you might want to use. Why not? Gracie, look. You might want to get down. Come on. Sorry, you might want to just, I'd let her have a whiff of that. And not in a real nice way. I was like, no. <laughs> it was nice. As nice as I could be. Now, this one I think I took some off of. Oh, no. But So you want to peel this off. I was dying. Once I saw these sticks, I was like, oh, I have to have those. I just have to have them. And I'm so glad I got them. Like right now, I'm in heaven. I mean, we're making a huge mess. This is what I like to do best. Yeah. No, not on the floor. I did not say that. I mean, I said it, but I didn't mean it. And this is iridescent blender. So this, I think you can use with any paint and blend it. You know? So, oh, look at that. That's really coming off of there. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Oh, look at that. That's peeling well, really well. It's a little satisfying too in kind of an odd way you guys maybe i'll put this away for a second just over here while i make this mess you guys are probably thinking that weren't you but you didn't say it all right actually i'm just trying to go for the ones that are pretty easy this one is what this is a what is this another iridescent blender oh iridescent white that's got a big thick one on there so that's how you get to these. You don't, um, I'm not sure how to get to the ones that don't have a, um, a top, you know, like that are, they're like this off the figure. I think you have to just obviously this person ripped down. So I guess that's what you have to do. You know, I didn't watch the video long enough. I'm not patient when I, when it comes to learning these new things, I want to just do it. <laughs> so that's why you probably like watching my channel because you're probably a lot like me a little impatient okay so let's do this one what's this color charcoal i don't want to mess with charcoal right now no um let's do this one this one is turquoise we always love turquoise right guys so should we just try to cut that with some little scissors i don't want to you know what i mean here i know I got something that will cut that cool, I think. Maybe. Do I? Oh, no. That was something that's in the way. I'll just hold it this way. And, there we go. This should make this easier to, you know, cut. I guess fast forward till you see me um, actually painting okay because this is like 
But if you have some of these, you might, and if you don't know how to use them, somebody said, I can't wait to see what you do with them, Don. I have some and I don't know what to do with it. And I said, hang on, I'm gonna, I'm right, I'm there, right, I'm right there. I'm so close to like, getting these suckers out and uh, playing with them now. And uh, I used to, I remember when I got the gelatos, I had to have the gelatos. That was the first really expensive brand new product that I bought. Am I going to be sorry I'm doing this with my, with my hands, but what else are you supposed to do? Anyway, after I bought them, I was like, they didn't, they weren't as creamy as everybody made them look. These are super creamy. And these, with if you mix them with turpentine, no, not turpentine, thinner, paint thinner, which I just got back from the store. I had to go and make a special trip to the store to buy paint thinner, which I'm scared to death of. I'm scared to store it. I'm scared to have it in my house. It's out in the garage. I don't like it. I, I just wanted a little tiny bit. So I just wish I could have gone to the neighbors and say, can I get a little jar of paint thinner? But I don't know my neighbors well enough, you know? But if I would have been in um, California, I would have went to a friend of mine. Can I just get a little, <laughs> so I don't have to have this big thing to store because I'm scared of it. I don't know if I should be, but I am a little bit. So anyway, so those that are new here, yeah, I do a lot of yammering about a lot of nothing. Um, but but I, I keep you company. I promise to keep you company that way for sure. Well, shizzle. That's what I'll do. I will definitely keep you company. There we go. Oh my god, my fingers, you guys. Does paint, oil paint come off? Now I'll probably have to use that paint thinner on my hands, right? I'm gonna, after I undo these, I'm going to go and um, wash my hands. I'm losing patience with this. Okay, there we go. I wish it would just peel off really nicely, but it doesn't. I mean, some is a little bit better than others. The, the colors are so rich, you guys. I mean, it's not like acrylic. Like, acrylic is... Well, that one set that I got is really rich and beautiful. But this, you guys, this is gorgeous. This is really nice. Okay. Really nice stuff. Do you think that's enough to play with? How about that's a green and that's a charcoal? Because I really want to wash my hands. <laughs> because I'm afraid it will make like stain them big time. I'm sure it will. But I'm gonna be rubbing my hands in this stuff anyway. I can't keep my hands out of it. Or my mouth. That's just how I roll. There we go. There we go. Okay. I think I did this one last night. Or maybe, I don't know. All right, there's the last one. Okay, you guys, I will be right back. I'm gonna wash my hands and um, try to get this off and I'll be right back. Oh my gosh, you guys. I am back, but it's still under my nails. I'm going to have to take some fingernail polish remover to that. I did have to get paint thinner to get it off, so I had to open up the kitchen window, and <laughs> it was really strong and very potent. So very. if you do this, be careful. I never want to have to do that again. Um, I'm glad that I got most of them off, though, or at least so that we can play with them tonight. Um, next time I do it, I will have gloves, um, unless I get brave and just get, like, need this black one tonight, and I use something to pry that off here. This one I don't think I'll be using because I just, I have to have gloves, so that's going to have to go in my added list. But, oh, my God, all you oil painters that just sat here and watched me do that were laughing your butt off. It's okay. You're welcome. I get it. I totally get it. So, okay, so I'm going to use this brush, and all I want to do is um, right, rub this on here and then see what consistencies it's like, you know? Now that the tips are cleaned off and we can actually see what it actually um, can do. So I just wanna just kinda, wow, guys. It's like, look at how much smoother it is. It's so much smoother. 
And then I just want to dip my brush in a little bit of this oil. Well, it's not oil, it's thinner. And then see what it does? That's what I saw the lady do. Now this time I want to come down. Hold on. It doesn't want to come down for you. That's okay. That's good enough right there. But see, you thin it out and you can use more to, um, to thin it out or not, you know, but look at that. You guys look at the consistency. Look at the, look at the dark. I mean, it's wonderful. So let's just play with this and just roll with it and see what happens. So like, is this like acrylics? Like I'm learning here, so bear with me. So is this like acrylic so it won't make mud if I put these two colors together? Look how creamy that is, you guys. Super. I don't think I need to do that much. Um, I'm going to put that in there. Oh, it kind of cleans it off in there anyway. But yeah, that didn't make mud. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, yeah. That's fun. Okay, I've got a really crappy brush here, but, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah. We're just playing. It's one of these little brushes, but it's a flat brush. I don't even know if you're supposed to be. Don't ask me if you're supposed to be using a flat with. I have no clue. This is the turquoise. So let's put the turquoise like right here. It's really soft. I mean, you guys, if it wasn't for this, um, this stuff that you have to use to get it to thin it and to make it move and all that. I, I would be in heaven, but I don't like the smell. I really don't. Thank God the window's open. Well, you know, I just really don't like the smell. Is this the turquoise? But I love how, what it's doing. I actually do love what it's doing, so. And let's see. And then I do plan on using um, Acrylics over it probably. Wouldn't that be weird? So look, there's some big gaps right here, but I don't want to get that off with my fingers. I think lesson learned, guys. Lesson learned. I'll take a help of that. There we go. Yeah. So if you're gonna use these, and if you're gonna use this thinner stuff, boy. Girl, definitely, definitely, definitely have your window open. I don't even know if this one window is enough. But for now, it has to be. Okay, let's go into the purples. I'm still keeping my hands pretty much out of it. Okay, I must have, there's, there's the side I did. And this takes... The video I watched, which don't ask me which one it was, you guys, I have no clue. I was just going, moving around until I could find something. Um, said this takes 24 hours to dry, which is way faster than most acrylics, or I'm sorry, most um, oil. Usually it can take days, weeks, months. And especially if you use that linseed oil, that's why I decided not to use the linseed oil, because it takes too long to dry. I don't have that kind of time. I mean, I'll, I'll just forget what I was even doing, you know? So yeah, there's that. But I love this. Okay, we already did that color. Let's go with, what's this, pink? Did I get enough off here? Yeah, there it is. I didn't get enough off, but there it is. Maybe if I'm not doing it right under my nose. Let's do it over there. There we go. That's probably more better. And see, it's a little um, crusty. Hold on. Do you see the crust, like, right here? I'm going to go ahead and try to get those off of there. This is strong. Don't like the turpentine. If I think I'm going to use this, I would not use it in here. I don't know, guys. 
What do you think? Any ideas? A fan, maybe? Let me open the window a little bit more. Can't be good. I wonder how oil painters aren't like stoned all the time. Sorry, guys, but really, seriously. See how creamy that one came out? Ooh. See, that piece is like probably the hard piece that doesn't even belong on there. Right there. Oop, I didn't wash it. Live and learn. Trippy, huh? Are you guys tripping on this? I'm tripping on this. I think it's cool. It's fun to play with. I love them. I just don't love the smell. So I'm not sure, you know, I'm not sure. Maybe I'll take a class in oils just to, like an abstract class where I don't feel like I have to know anything. You know what I mean? I've got quite a few left here. I need to, there's a little dog across the street. It's Kaya. It's Kaya. This is beautiful, though. I have to tell you, I'm loving. You can't do this with acrylic, can you? I should try. I don't think I've ever tried, but. It's really fun. It's lovely. Okay, so we've got that and then that. These are the blender sticks that I haven't used. So we'll wait on that. What is this one? This is a brown. We'll get to that at the end. This is another pink. Did we have a pink? Seems like we did, or is this the pink that we used? Oh, why don't we use this pink again? Oh, I didn't take enough off of this one. I can tell. There we go. There we go. We got some color. We got some color on there. Okay, dog over there. We hear you. We hear you. Okay. Can't see the light. Okay, okay. All right, so with that there, I'm just going to add a little bit of this gold. Not the brown. The brown's just not going to make the cut today, guys. It's just too dark. And I wonder what these are going to do. I don't know. So this is going to be part one and part two. So this is going to be part one. We gessoed. We cleaned them. And now we're just adding, ooh, beautiful. Oh, that's pretty. Um, adding some color with the, um, with the uh, thinner, right, on the canvas. That is so pretty. And uh, All you oil painters, please look away. Don't judge, no judgy. This is new to me. So we're just playing and like, look at the spots. I'm just gonna leave them, I don't care. So I like it. <laughs> I kind of do. I think it's a pretty start. I mean, I like that. I don't even care about that. All I wanna do, you know what I really wanna do, you guys, is I wanna clean this brush off and I wanna close this lid on this jar as fast as I possibly can. I'm not loving it. And I'm gonna mark it on here. It's gonna be called, what do you do with this stuff? 
How do you get rid of this thinner? Do you just keep using it and using it? See, I don't know. Thinner. Paint thinner. Do you just keep using it? Okay, all of you people that know, please let me know. Do you just keep this in this jar and keep using it no matter how gross it gets? Because it seemed to me like when I brought the brush back out, the brush was like super clean. So this is part one of me learning, and then I'm going to watch some more videos. And then what we're going to do next time is we're going to draw on it and then maybe try to make a face. Or we're going to try to layer on it. I don't know. Um, I don't feel like layering anymore on it right now because I think I've had enough turpentine or whatever that stuff's called. That's another question. Is turpentine and thinner the same stuff? And another thing is, can you put something on here to make it, like, not do that? Or is it good that it does that? Now, next time, I'll just use it. See, here's what they did online. They just took a paper towel and went like this, and, just, and it peeled right off. So I'm hoping that next time I'll be able to do just that, you know? Like, which one didn't seem very good? Was it the pink one? Where's the pink one? Yeah, this one didn't seem very good. You know? I just don't feel like getting grossed out again. Anyway... So, maybe um, on part two, these will be a lot easier to get into, and I will have gotten brave and taken this off, um, these two, um, but yeah, not today. So, anyway, all right, you guys, this is just part one. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for checking it out with me. And look, that, that actually looks like it's already drying right there, but again... Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it the 24 hours that it needs to set up, and we'll go from there. All right, so this is just like making a mess with um, these Shivas and trying to learn them. And I will might, and I might try to layer them next time. Because once this goes down, it's permanent. It's like acrylic. Once it goes down, it's permanent. So it might be fun just to try to go the other way, you know what I mean, and see what happens. Like start here with the blue and then go with, to the yellow and just see what kind of, what it, I don't know, just to see what happens. Or, you know, or, or put it into into force and, like, try just different stuff. I don't know. Just try stuff on this canvas with these oils just to see how it goes. So, yeah, I'm all over the place and I'm making a huge mess and I'm probably inhaling toxins. So, with that, I better go. And I'll talk to you guys really soon. Come back for part two. I'm not sure when that'll be, but look for it. Okay, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care, guys. See ya. Bye, guys.